How many of you are familiar with any of these organizations? Raise your hand. All right, good. You've got a few people. So if you if you were familiar with those, you are familiar with the idea of civic hacking. If you're not, it's, it's not quite as scary as it sounds. Civic hacking is a creative and often technological approach to solving civic problems. Basically, we're taking 21st century skills, which are becoming cheaper than ever, and applying them to 21st century problems. And the really cool thing is those organizations I so showed you are doing an amazing job taking this movement and spreading it across the country. But there's one place that it isn't going, and that's into our schools. This needs to change. My name is Libby, I'm the founder of Make Impact, and my goal is to bring civic hacking into every high school in America. So to get this goal kicked off, a couple weeks ago we ran our own first youth civic hackathon in San Francisco. We had 24 kids and 16 coaches, and over the course of two days, our kids learned basic tech skills to create six civic hacks to tackle issues around air and water quality in San Francisco. And what's really cool is not only did these kids who had no idea what civic hacking was come in and make these things, but at the end of the event, 100% of our attendees said they'll come to the next event and bring friends. We know kids want this. We know it works. The question we now have is how do we take this from 24 kids in San Francisco and spread it to schools all over the country? My background is in games and learning and also uh, digital technology curriculum design, and I have two big inspirations in figuring out how to do this. The first is the first LEGO League competitions, which have clubs across the country. They have a great club model. The second, you may be less familiar with, but it's the field of augmented reality gaming, which has millions of players playing on their mobile phones around the world. What 2015 is about for Make Impact is taking those successes and figuring out how to apply them to the space of civic hacking for youth to make it really easy for all of you guys to get your kids civic hacking. So this spring, we have a few uh, really cool prototypes we're starting out with. One you may be interested in is we're going to be rolling out our first toolkit to get you started on civic hacking. Uh, and we're going to be running a boot camp to begin testing the gamification components this summer. And finally, we're also going to be starting to roll out the first digital version this fall. So the question you may have is, why is this important? How is it different? This is me. The first time I was diagnosed with cancer, I was five years old. And I just say the first time. I grew up in a paper town in Wisconsin where we have the highest cancer rates in the country. We know there are major environmental and civic issues in all of our communities, not just my hometown. And it's time for us to step up and figure out how to deal with those things. And it's time for us to get kids involved in that process too. Make Impact does this in three ways. First, we introduce technology in a new way. We found that by introducing it as a way to help people, we can dramatically increase interest in technology education. Second, it's about awareness. By creating a Make Impact Club in every high school in the country, we're effectively starting a new conversation in every community in the country. And finally, innovation. We believe that success requires lots of failure. If you've ever been to a hackathon, you know that most of the ideas at the end don't go anywhere, but a few of them do. We believe the same will be true of Make Impact. Most of the kids' ideas may go nowhere, but some could change the world. This is why we're asking you to support us. Please vote tonight for Make Impact to help us support our prototype development. And of course, come talk to me about beta testing. I would love to get you involved in turning your kids into civic hackers. Thank <laughs> you.